Hello everyone, my name is Aravinda Matthew. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Sri Lanka. I'm a single. Uh, I'm a kind, humble, energetic person. Uh, I have experience in the hotel industry 13 years. From that 13 years, I have learned how to work under any pressure, how to work under any messy level with a smooth flow. So I always used to follow my senior ad uh, advice. Plus, I am I am learning from them very fast. I I learn, I check, and I learn. So, I, uh, regarding my experience, I have done the hotel management in Sri Lanka, and from there I have moved to United Arab Emirates. Then I studied there uh, basic food hygiene and PIC person in charge level three, uh, and I have studied the basic uh, medic, basic firefight in United Arab Emirates. Uh, first, I start as a crew member in UAE, uh, uh, Burger King Arabia in UAE. As you know, Burger King is a, a big, uh, big fast food chain in the world. So from there, I have uh, worked many restaurants and last I have worked in Al Bustan Hotel in Saja as a Komi One. Uh, there, my job duties is mainly I am preparing the dish and I am garnishing. Plus, I am handling my line. Uh, and uh, all the time I used to keep my uh, working area very clean and tidy and plus I put all the time my production I check my productions and I put the labeling as exp product and expiration and always I, I ask to my junior staff as well to keep your station clean and hygiene hygiene is the most important part in the our industry hotel i believe that when we are together we can make better work uh, for an example uh, i always used to be good with my team members my staff members uh, that's how i start to learn uh, how to speak five language i can speak the english one i can speak urdu hindi arabic and uh, tagalog so from there basically i with this all experience i know the procedure of the hotel for an example if the stock coming inside till the dish and till the dish to waste stage i know how to handle how how to uh, how how the uh, hotel uh, hotel kitchen is working so with this all experience i believe myself myself that i can work for you i can generate some revenue and some efficient workflow uh, in your organization if you have given me chance. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Have a good day. Hello everyone. Today I am going to make for you a uh, quick salad. We have ingredients here, vegetables, our cucumber, capsicum, basil, cherry tomatoes and uh, we need uh, olives, feta cheese, we have here oregano, uh, black pepper and salt. So first we're going to need to cut this up. So we keep the side cucumber and second we need to cut shell tomatoes. It's dependent if you want to cut two slices it's dependent. So we're going to add here our cherry tomatoes and we got second we're going to cut some capsicum so 
So you need to cut this one, you can cut the stripe or you can cut the no uh, cut piece. But today I'm gonna to make it chunk. I'm gonna cut it three. So we have here bell paper, yellow color. Then onion. You can cut the onion a little bit thicker because it's for the salad. And you can you can add it if you make like that, it will mix well. Then we're gonna put some bay leaves. Bay leaves. You're gonna make like a cigar. You're gonna make the bay leaves. Cut the bay leaves. You're gonna add the bay leaves on the Then we add the olives. Olives this must be added, it's a great style. We add olive. So we have here salt, pepper, oregano. So we're gonna add oregano to give the taste. Bit of salt. Bit of black pepper. Feta cheese. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna cut thin, I'm gonna leave it. Here. I keep my dressing separate. Here we add some uh, red wine vinegar and uh, olive oil and uh, some lemon juice. So I'm not adding here dressing, I'll just mix, I'll serve with the dressing. Hello, uh, now I'm going to prepare uh, spaghetti with meatballs. Here we have onion, garlic, and we have here tomato paste, extra virgin olive oil. Here I make some meatballs, and here we have here freshly made tomato puree. We have uh, black pepper, salt, bay leaves, dry bay leaves, and fresh bay leaves for the garnish. And uh, most important, always wear the gloves. And I want to tell that to, I actually I know shawarma as well, but today I did not able to get 
any machine for the burner plus the seed. But basically I can explain you here, shawarma, you have to marinate, you have to cut the meat and you have to marinate and keep for the overnight. Next day, if you, you should, if you example, if you're going to make chicken, you can stack like a breast, two breast, one thigh, two breast, one thigh. If for the meat, you make thick layer, first starting with the fat, the lamb fat and beef, lamb fat and beef, lamb fat and beef. And you need to cut. Then first, when you put in the burner, you need to cook low fire you need to cook little more extra time cook all the way inside the meat once it's cooked down you can lower the fire and you can start to slice in the shawarma and make the sandwich put in the grill and service so first i'm going to cut some garlic and onion here i need some chopped onion for that i'm gonna finally chop the onion so you need to cut over here so it will be easy to chop the onion So we have here, first we make pasta, boil the pasta. We have here water, hot water, I'm going to add some salt. So we're going to put here our pasta. Here we have preheated a pan, so you can check the heat. Add some extra virgin olive oil. the pan is heat oil is heat we're gonna add the meat balls so now we are going to make our dish spaghetti with uh, meat balls so first we're going to add preheated pan with the one we make the meatballs so the flavors will be will be incredible so i'm going to add here some garlic some onion chopped onion and stir fry it And now, once the onion is uh, cooked and brown, we're gonna add tomato puree, freshly made tomato puree. Now, once it's the simmer and thick, we're gonna add some salt, some black pepper, one piece of leaves and we're gonna mix it well now we're gonna going to add our meatballs we're gonna place it we're gonna cover it slowly we're gonna mix it not to break them meatballs once the meatball is mixed with the paste we're going to remove the meatballs Remove the bay leaves. Now it's cooked well. Now the paste is nice. So we're gonna sauce is nice. We're gonna add our dry cooked spaghetti.
So now I am going to do the plating. The reason I did not mix with the meatballs when, uh, while cooking, it will be damaged the meatballs. So once the plating is done, I am going to garnish the plate. So meatballs will go. And for the garnish, I am going to put some fresh bay leaves. So here we have nice spaghetti with meatballs. Thank you very much.